The walk is not only excellent practice and exercise, just to get back to what humans should be doing, which is moving more, but it allows for freedom in your mind that is hard to come by anywhere else. To go on a walk is to take the courageous steps of solitude, despite a dreary attitude, and still to find the whole world awaited you in magnitude. The wind's ancient respiration races through the trees like the biggest flock of invisible bats you've ever heard. To the same percussive tempo that bleeds the sky blue and orange and pink and purple. To the same percussive tempo that bleeds ink to the west above and reveals the rest above infinite brilliant specks of light. In a moment of such consideration, you can't help but feel like the whole universe fits like a glove. But it's time to turn around now. You have to go home, make dinner, fold your laundry, take a shower, brush your teeth. You're flossing tonight. Is tomorrow a 4 a.m. or a 5 a.m.? To go for a walk. I find that going on walks has proven to be a very beneficial meditative practice. I kind of rediscovered that through this lens of mindfulness around 2020. I find that whether you're going out and back or you're looping around back to where you started the apex of the walk right that point in the middle tends to be the freest that my mind gets during the day or the week and it's so valuable um, it's so valuable because your mind is freed up from the immediate thoughts and responsibilities of everyday life. And it allows you to make new connections from various inputs. You know, it could be from things that you're reading, things that you've heard, listened to, um, situations you've incurred, and you're allowed to reflect on them and not one of them has to take priority. Not one of them has to last very long in your mind as an idea. They can come and go. Or you can choose to grab onto one and develop it. But it's free to just go walk like a human and not feel obligated to do anything else. Um, it seems in our everyday life It seems in our everyday life that we're pulled in all sorts of directions of expectations from other people, whether that be our jobs, goals that we develop for ourselves, or the expectations that we put on ourselves by comparing ourselves to others online. Um, I would say mostly online, but through media, surely. The walk is not only excellent practice and exercise, just to get back to what humans should be doing, which is moving more. But it allows for freedom in your mind that it is hard to come by anywhere else. If you're new here, my name is Christian Dossett, and I hope you enjoyed this little preponderance on walking. Um, leave me feedback, I'd love to hear it. Uh, whatever way seems fit, whether it be in the comment section or finding me online and reaching out. Um, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one. I'll try to do the same. <laughs>